hi guys and welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to use the binance application from a to z so let's get started all right so if you just downloaded the app it may look like this right so what you want to do to change it to pro just tap on the avatar and then tap on this icon here And right away you'll have a complete different app with more functionality so let's go over this app on top you have your search icon where you can search all your currency we'll get to that in a moment and over here you can scan your qr code to log in on the website for example this is how you do it so basically this feature helps you to log in on the website for example i'm going to go to the website and click on login and you can see it says login with the qr code so what i'm going to do is I'm going to hit the camera on this side and just scan that. Now you can see it's wanting me to authorize this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit authorize. And now I'm logged in. I didn't have to do anything. I'm logged in via an app. So basically, I don't need the password to trade on the desktop computer if I have the application with me. And over here, you've got all your notifications. I'm just going to click back. If we swipe up, just like, let's put it about there, yes. So if you've got your normal deposit here, you can do your deposit. Let's click on it. You can either do crypto or cash, and you can select the cryptocurrency that you want to deposit. It's very important to understand the network that you're going to be using to send that cryptocurrency. And this is the EOS network. If we move here, we own Binance. And obviously here, we own Binance Smart Chain. So it's very important to understand those three and over here you can do a credit card or a debit card deposit you can click on the currency and put the amount of rands or dollars whatever the currency you're using and obviously just continue right there it will populate the rest of the transaction fees and how much you'll be charged right but we're going to cancel out of that because we don't want to do that and this is your ranking this is the most gained cryptocurrencies in the past 24 hours. This is the losers in the past 24 hours. The currency with the most trading volume within the past 24 hours. Obviously, the usual suspects, BTC and Ethereum, and obviously using the Bitcoin and USDT pairs. So this is your cryptocurrency and this is the currency that it's paired with, right? You can see Doge and the currencies that they are paired with on the side. But we're going to get to that in a moment, right? So now we want to move to, we can just leave it here on hot and we want to move to the market. If you just downloaded the app, it's going to look like this for the first time. So when you're coming to the crypto space, you want to understand what cryptocurrencies do you want to trade? For example, you can go to the coin market cap and search the currencies there. And under the currencies tab, you can see where the currency is available. So over here, you want to go and click on spot spot just basically means that you're trading one cryptocurrency for another right it's not like the futures market where you have to go long or you go short but we're gonna get to that in a moment so let's go to spots here i'm gonna select usdt as my base currency so let's say i want to trade usdt with cardona so i'm gonna select first the currency that i want to pay it with which is usdt under fiat then i'm gonna go on top here and over here i'm gonna type ada so this is a ticker symbol. This is when you go to the coin market cap, it will show you the ticker symbol of that cryptocurrency. You can't type the currency by its name. You just need to know the ticker symbol. So we know this is USDT and Cardona. So this is a cryptocurrency we want to trade against this currency, right? So I'm going to click on it. Before I click on it, I can just tap here on this icon. If I tap on the star, you can see it's added to my favorite. If I cancel that, and I go to my favorite. You can see it's there. So let's add another one to our favorite. For example, I'm gonna go back to spot, fiat, USDT. Click on it. Now I wanna add. I'm looking for, let's say Ethereum. And I'm gonna add ETH to my favorite again. So I'm just gonna tap on that, add it to my favorite. I can now come and see if, let's say, I wanna also trade ETH against a, a different currency like BUSD. I can tap that. All right, what else we want to add to our favorites? Let's add uh, Bitcoin BTC. Let's 
add it to our favorite now let's cancel all that and go to favorite we can see all the currency that we added we can also just tap here to add currencies so i'm going to deselect that and go to fiat and this time let's say you're coming from europe and you want to trade a euro as a base currency and you want to trade a euro to let's say doge we can see doge is there doge euro i'm going to click on that and we can see the chart here we can still on the chart tap on the icon here and add that to our, to our favorite right so when we go back to the market and click favorite we can see all the currency that we added so now i'm gonna click on this currency i'm gonna click on ada if you recall on our previous video we actually did a chart analysis on ada and you can see on the chart here that we did about a week ago that it came right to our line here that we drawn at the time and this was very very accurate and we did this with the help of some indicators and also just having a basic understanding of the market and the market trends the market sentiment uh, that's how we were able to get this line to be so accurate now because we knew that it was going to go down so what we want to do here is now we want to go and buy right so i'm going to click on buy we can see the price that this currency is trading at and what we can also do is just tap on this icon here and if we want to see only the sellers we can click on that and only the sellers so that we can see it on a broader perspective and we can obviously check uh, the buyers i'm going to click on the buyers but let's just set it back to default so i'm going to click on that and set to default so what we want to do here we can also just click on this icon here and have a look at the chart if i come here and i just press and hold on the screen i can now go and see where the bottom was i can see it's 1.87 so if i let go i can see okay this is where maybe i want to set my own ask price again right so now that i know it's 1.87 i'm gonna click buy and come here i'm just gonna press and hold one point go back eight and do this seven right and over here you can say i want to spend 20 percent of their money i want to spend 50 percent i want to spend 70 percent i want to spend you know it, it really depends how much you want to spend or you can also just come in here and type i want to spend 500 for example right so now that we have that uh we're gonna go and press buy and we can see our order this is now our order it hasn't been filled and over here we can check here and we can see the funds that we have and we can see the order history as well so these are open orders this is order history trading history this is our order history here our trading history here. so let's go back to our orders and basically that's all you need to know on this page you can also click on this dollar sign here if you want to go and fund your account straight away not only that you can also click on this plus sign here and go deposit so there are many ways that you can you know deposit funds or cryptocurrencies because usdt is selected over here i can click on it and i can deposit usdt so let's go back to orders here you can see your orders you can always cancel the order if i cancel the order it's going to be gone completely it's like we haven't done anything so that's the market and how you actually buy cryptocurrencies so i'm gonna hit spot again just to remind you guys how you do this thing i'm gonna deselect the euro i'm gonna go back to usdt right so when i'm here i can search a different currency you can see here i've got a search history for example the currency that i just searched recently i can click on it directly so i'm just gonna press that let's add that so now if we go back let's cancel there go to favorite you can see it's just being added there it's been added so now if i click on it you see i had drawn some line on these currencies so basically how you draw lines or indicators you can even put indicators on the chart for example i'm just going to show you you can show a line you can show a line or you can show charts on 15 i like to go with a daily chart or 
a four hour chart if i want to zoom in on the current action so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to show you how to add indicators and how to actually draw some lines i want to tape here you can add indicators you want to add the macd and we want to confirm it now we just added it to our chart but it doesn't show what do we do okay we go double tap on the screen macd is there so double tap that's how you change the indicators so we're just going to leave it on the volume but we can also just leave it on the macd also so how do you draw lines um i'm gonna go to i'm gonna go here and maybe before we draw lines let's first look at this interface maybe it's too small for you we go here and we go height right so it sets at default right now let's take it back to let's say 61 percent and go back you can see how small it is let's go back let's set it back here you can see the difference let's change it again let's go all the way right and now you can see how huge it is now we can see way better we can zoom in on our chart you can see way better here so now how do we draw lines well you come here you say drawing and it's going to change the orientation of the screen so what you can do here you can click here just press and hold and you can select your line so what we want to do want to press a horizontal come here change colors for example horizontal you can see we can move our line let's put it right here um where it topped right about here we can also come and just change our line we can change it to red because this is when the sell-off began now that you've done that we're gonna exit out of this we can see our line is very accurate on top there let's go back and change the height to default do that go back see we know exactly where it topped we can now just go and buy this currency so let's set a price um maybe let's go to the chart before we buy and just press and hold on the screen and bring it right about here so we can see 774 right let's buy it at 774 one hit buy come here so it's 774 i'm gonna spend here let's say i want to spend 500 dollars right and we can see there's sort of like a transaction fee happening there and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit buy you can see our orders here before we move to the next tab let's click on these three dots here this is also how you can transfer deposit and all that stuff you can also watch tutorials with regards to how to use the app don't just take my video and go and start trading my videos are just basic introduction to these things your job is to even do and in more in-depth research don't just make decisions based on the information i give you in this channel so i'm gonna exit out of that i'm gonna click on the futures market basically the intricacies of the futures market will require a video of its own because this is a completely different ball game here we instead of buying you going long or you're going short so we'll cover that on a separate video and actually how you trade on margin you may recall that i already have a video on my channel that talks about margin trading so you're more than welcome to go ahead and check that out so now i'm going to click on the wallet i actually don't keep funds on the wallet i just brought some funds here because i wanted to buy a certain altcoin so let's go back to home and click on avatar and i'm just going to toggle this back to the light mode i want to show you the difference of the wallet when it's on light mode and the pro mode you can see how different it is right it looks very very beautiful so that you guys is how you use the binance application obviously i have different videos covering how to deposit funds and withdraw funds from the binance application if you want to check those out the entire playlist is showing on the screen right now
if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up if you did not well still give it a thumbs up i'll see you guys on the next one goodbye for now peace